This is honestly some of the most stunning video I've ever seen, and I am not exaggerating. By the time this video is done, you will know what I'm talking about. You are going to see the presidents of Penn State and Harvard ask a question. Is calling for the genocide of Jews on campus, is this hate speech? Is this bullying? Is this harassment? Is this something that should be stopped? Their answers are stunning. I mean, just this topic alone might get my video demonetized on YouTube. Just even mentioning this topic could get this video demonetized and listen to their answer about people actually calling for the complete genocide of a particular group of people. Ms. McGill, at Penn, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. So is your if testimony it, that it, you will not answer yes? If it uh, is, if the, yes or becomes, no. if the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The speech is not harassment? This is unacceptable, Ms. McGill. I'm gonna give you one more opportunity for the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be harassment. The answer is yes. And Dr. Gay, at Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. What's the context? Targeted as an individual, targeted as, at an individual. It's so targeted at Jewish it? students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of anti-Semitism? I will ask you one more time. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when it and crosses is it anti -Semitic into rhetoric? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when it crosses into conduct that amounts to bullying, harassment, intimidation, that is actionable conduct and we do take action. So the answer is yes that calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard Code of Conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. These are unacceptable answers across the board. So let's be clear. These are the presidents, the leaders of Penn State and Harvard being asked a very simple question is calling for the genocide of the Jewish people, literally the complete elimination of all Jewish people, all of them done, killed, destroyed. Is this bullying? Is this harassment against the people there and on your campus? Because of course, of course, many of them are going to be Jewish and their answers are so disgusting. Well, it depends on if they act out on this. Are you, are they nuts? And, and I love the fact that we're seeing explicitly, you mean act out on this? Like they partake in the actual genocide of this group? That's the only way it's harassment and bullying? Just the calling for it isn't? Imagine if this was a different group of people. Imagine if she said, well, what about calling for the genocide of the Muslim people or the Palestinian people? You know their answers would be unequivocally, this is harassment, this is bullying, we do not condone this, this is unacceptable. But when it's the Jewish people, well, if somebody's calling for the complete destruction and genocide of the Jewish people, even while a Jewish student is standing right next to them, which means that that individual also would like that person to be killed as well, including all Jewish people on campus, in that situation, you know, it depends. Are they going to act out on it? If they do, if they do act out on it and then partake in that event, 
then yeah, it depends on that context. They are evil and they are demonic. I would love anyone who's a liberal who's listening to me, and I bet you won't, put down in the comment section below how you can defend an answer like this. This is sick, so sick that any president could sit up and say, well, if somebody's calling for the complete destruction of a group of people, it's not necessarily harassment or an actionable thing. It just really depends. I love to see it. Defend this because you know the truth. These places are deplorable. They're disgusting. They're evil and they're demonic. And the kids that go into these places, they do not come out the same way because they are brainwashed and they are indoctrinated to the liberal ideology and form that they are pushing out. This is why we're seeing this world spiral down so quickly because we have evil people in charge like this and you know it's the truth. How can't they answer this question? If you can't answer this question, then you can't answer any question. It's crazy. I told you. This would be one of the most insane videos you see. This is unbelievable to me. This should be all over the place. People should be seeing this. Do not put your kids into Harvard or Penn State. And there's a number of other ones just like them, just so you know. Be very careful with where you place your kids. Watch your kids very carefully because the world is looking for them. They're looking to take them in and they're looking to brainwash them and they're looking to change them and make them into their own image, into the world's image. Trust me, these people are evil and you know it. What do you think about this? Leave your comments below. I'll catch you on the next video.